It wasn't a great start for Norway and Skip Thomas Olsrud here in Kamloops. They lost their first three and then rattled off five straight wins. One of those wins coming against Canada. Norway, the only team to beat the Canadians. It was Canada and this man, Marco Yusi Pavelniemi, for the longest time this week, they were neck and neck. At one point, Finland five and one, but they've lost three in a row, and now they're in a must-win tiebreaker. Canada clearly in first place. Sweden finishes second by the luck of the draw. Scotland gets third, leaving Finland and Norway now to battle in this tiebreaker for the fourth and final playoff spot. Here in Kamloops and these Ford World Curling Championships. And coming up in the first semifinal that will be played this afternoon, Kamloops time. Sweden will play Scotland. And then tonight, Wayne Mada. He'll face either Finland or Norway. That to be determined this morning here in the Thompson River Valley and the Riverside Coliseum, the Ford Worlds on TSN. Good morning, good afternoon, Canada, and welcome to this men's tiebreaker of these Ford Worlds from the Riverside Coliseum on this Good Friday. We wish all of you well as we head into the Easter weekend. You see Thomas Olsrud and Marku Yusi Pavelniemi, Finland against Norway. Over their thoughts, Lyndon Ray. Good morning, Victor. Well, Linda, rivalries are always interesting. The Leafs, the Canadians, Scotland, Canada and curling. And the Scandinavian countries don't like to lose to each other. It is interesting. And of course, the Scandinavian countries, as a matter of all of the European countries, play each other a lot, especially at the Europeans. In the Europeans in December of 1997, well, it was Finland winning in both cases when they played Norway. Here, however, in round robin play, it was Norway. So will a trend continue? Both countries suffer a little bit from a lack of curlers. About 300 curlers in Finland, one dedicated curling facility. I have actually been very impressed with this Finnish team. They have learned from tapes and they have learned pretty well. The only play Playoff contender they have beaten is Scotland. Can they play well today? And Norway, of course, we know Christian Sorum, we know Igo Ramsfell, so it's nice to see a new face. And Thomas Olsrud got off to a very, very good start, a bad start, I should say, and then really bounced back. Yeah. He comes by his curling ability naturally. His stepfather, Helmer Strombo, you see him here, skipped the Norwegian team in 1973 and 1975, has been very involved in curling in Norway. So it's nice to see a good young team. They have the same problem, but the numbers are coming because of the, Oli because of the Olympics, excuse me, and this should be a very interesting morning. Believe me, each one of these teams wants to win. A reminder, you can keep up to date on scores, standings, player profiles. Our season of champions ends in two more days here at the Ford Worlds, and our web address is www.tsn.ca slash curling. So who will Canada play in tonight's semifinal? It'll be either Finland or Norway, and they'll shake hands and come out curling. The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, seeing beyond. By Labatt, good things brewing. And by Simonize Car Care Products. If you care, Simonize it. Well, on this tie-breaking Friday morning here in Kamloops, just the one sheet in play for Finland, Norway, that sheet B. It's cooler outside, it's cloudy. Will that affect the ice? Let's find out. Here are Ray's thoughts. Reading the ice and is brought to you by Canadian Airlines. Well, Vic, we only get a chance to watch them practice, and we've been watching all week, and really the curl has not changed at the beginning, especially in those practice sessions. Around the center guard, you're getting four feet. Around the corner guard, you're getting five plus, five and a half. No problem getting around these guards. Now, as you've already mentioned, it's a little cooler in here, and there's not as big a crowd. It's the morning draw, so you won't get the motion of a lot of body heat and warmth and the circulation of air moving around so we don't anticipate the frost creeping in as quickly from this area here so it should be all right you still have to be a little careful when you step up the weight they'll run straight it's the only game in town 
but they uh, these two teams really don't uh, want to get uh, caught up in a close game at all they want to play it fairly wide open Finland will play the Redstones Norway yellow the Norwegians from the Snaren curling club in Oslo won the coin toss and so they will have the hammer here in this first end of play and to get us going the Finnish skip is Yari Laukanen. Oh, I've said that twice yep. now. It's the lead, Yari Laukanen. But you feel a little Bye sorry it. for the fellow. He's had the chicken yep. pox, came in late, and, and maybe Baba. you just thought he should Baba. have a chance to skip after that Baba. long Baba. rest. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It, it was unfortunate. You come to a world championship and he came down with the chicken pox right off the bat. He was quarantined for several days. His uh, position was taken well by UC, UC Pebble Nieme, but uh, Yari's back and I'm sure he's pleased to be playing in this tiebreaker. He thought he had them. Thought he had chicken pox when he was a youngster, but obviously not. Johan Hosmellingen is the lead for Norway. They had to brush it to get it by. Sorry, let's up the line. That first stone in the free guard zone rule. I really thought they'd throw it into the rings, obviously. I said that. But a good eye, a good thought. Try and get some offense going. Thirty-two-year-old <laughs> Yari <laughs> <Lokanen>. <laughs> Two rocks out front, and they're probably adjusting a little bit for the amount of curl that Norway saw in that first come around. Johan is a native of Denmark. Just lost it a bit and needed some brushing for weight as well. The finish second is Tommy Hattie. What well, goes to show you how much I know about these two teams? First three rocks up in front. That is interesting of uh, the teams here. Yeah, Actually, Finland had yeah. almost all. Uh, yeah. The most We're playing games, and that's one of the things we look at to see how open they have played. Of course, we Come. mostly see these two teams when they play Canada, Come so we can only judge yeah. certain things from those games. Safe. But Finland had blanked a lot of ends during round robin play and seemed to like to keep it open. Both these teams played very well. Finland played very well, even though they lost uh, to Canada and it ended up being a lopsided score, but they played very well through that game. I mean, it just a couple things turned it around, and of course, you know what Norway did to Canada, so. In a game where uh, Thomas, in particular, well, their whole team, but Thomas in particular, made absolutely everything. I think he curled 90% that area. And that was Canada's only loss this week to Norway. Thomas, A big backswing for the yep, big yep, takeaway, yep, 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 trying to get yep, things off the yep, front, hard, at least open it up hard. if nothing else. Oh, oh, yep, they wouldn't mind yep, yep, the yep, double, yep, the run back. Yep. There's lots of options on this one. There's the, the run, run back, back to pick the stone off the back four. Thomas two for twelve. These teams, really all these teams can uh, here this week can throw the big weight and that means you have the chance of moving some stones around when you need to clean house. And that was done well. Yeah. 
Now the rock Come. speed, the ice Boys speed in. is going to be difficult. This Come. rock actually is losing its Maybe. turn a little Come. bit, and that's going to make a change. That should be light, Come but on. because there isn't much out here. We're not going to be exactly sure about the ice speeds, and they do change a bit during the game. So we're assuming it's going to be about the same as practice. Draw at 13 and a half. This is brought to you by Karsher. Measuring between the hog lines, the men throw the big takeout weight, eight and a half, maybe even less on those really fast peels. And guards, maybe 15 and a half, as we just saw in that one. That was about the same 15 and a half to 16 ice speed. The players are using stopwatches, and this week, the thing about stopwatches, sometimes you may lose the feel, but at least you can track some of the changes that we see on the ice. Playing the tap back, the raise. Norway, playing the yellow stones, has the hammer here in this first end of this tiebreaker with Finland. The winner to play Canada in the semifinal tonight. Now that was that back line to hack type weight, so a little bit heavy and needed still more ice. Marco would like to get it. Those uh, rocks are situated, he can't uh, get at them. Out turn come around for Ville. Makala. Taking on the edge of the 12 foot, so he's looking for the four feet of swing. This doesn't look like it has a lot of weight then. But... Could he play the split on this at all, do you think? If Maybe it's close enough, you could, Vic. Sure, you could. Uh, I don't think he has much weight, but. Okay. I feel like one of the brushers right there with Laukonen and Hati. A little lost on that. Det er ikke noe farlig, den. Alt annet er positivt, at Torger kjører bra her, men det bør ikke være noe mer, ass. Har du ikke positivt? Du har ikke fjernet et par av de røde her, da. Nei. Det er lost den der. Taking still more ice, they're right on the edge of the painted circle now for Torga's draw. Three-time Norwegian junior champion. I mentioned the elusive draw weight. That is the issue because they've had those front rocks up for a while and nobody can get around them. Nobody can get one in there. He can tap these this back, and he can also, if it uh, stays, uh, hangs out a little bit, he can get the split, get them both on. You could play it with a little extra weight to actually attempt that to spill the stones. If you just play it with draw, it's more likely you'll get the one pushed straight back. Hattie is closest to the stone, Lauken and out in front. Hey, hey, hey. Rain delay forced uh, suspension of the first round of the Masters yesterday. Ten golfers still on the course. Fred Couples was the clubhouse leader. You'll see live coverage of the second round coming up today at 3.55 Eastern Time, 12.55 Pacific. The Masters on TSN. Chance for the hit and roll. Yep. 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 Oh. Yep. And the roll, look at this. Is that a beauty? Nice shot. Ah. By Torger Nergard, the Norwegian third here in the first. 
Kenttämerkkiä näytä siellä teellä. Nyt on pro-alo. Osa katto merkki. Hit crew quite a bit at the end. They were on it and off it, and at the end you can see oh, a little slip because they tried to jump back in and sweep. It actually worked out well how far it rolled because it's rolled past an easy run back. It has left a raise, but not with big weight. Nice roll. What's happened to his game, Linda? The wheels fall off. I mean, he's at five and one, and then he he drops three in a row to uh, fall into this tiebreak. The first loss in that set was to Sweden, and they actually played well. The Finnish team had an 81% average, and they gave up several steals of one, which will kill you. And with the four rock rule, that can happen. I don't think they've played that badly against Denmark. Maybe that was their worst game, the last game of round robin play that Finland lost. That just did not curl. The weight was perfect. Just a matter of the ice. It's an interesting call. He's going to play the hit and roll again, trying to get in behind. Uh, you can sit down, you can freeze down to the face of that as well. You do have last rock, you're lying one. He's going to try and hit this one and success with his roll last time and get himself over into this area here. You could sit right on top of it with an intern draw. Well, it worked the last time for his third. Torger Nergard. Now it's the first skip stone for Norway here. Thomas Olsrud. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Stick around. No, too thin, and it'll go out the back. And early in this game, they are struggling with the ice. In some <laughs> spots, it seems to be running a little straighter. And in others, it's got that curl. Huh? I think he underthrew that a bit, Linda. He didn't throw that up. Much weight at all. Etu pesän puolella pitää olla, että etu valkoinen olisi ihan ok, siellä on se paha tulla kuitenkin se toinen pinna. Joo. Että ei suurita ainakaan sitä niin tonne, jos ei ole kauhean tarvitse. No angles line up for Finland no, either, do they? When they missed that uh, possible raise, everything didn't go into the right spot. The one that he raised went in behind protection, and yeah, Vic, he can't get at it, so he's just got the cold draw. Yep. Norway is hey. lying one. Hey. Edge of the forefoot. Hey, and the Norwegians have the hammer here in the first. But the best he can do, Linda. Nice shot. It's perfect weight. <laughs> It's the kind of thing that you have to be impressed about, Marku. He's uh, only skipped for a couple of years. And he's making some of those draws to the button, freezes and shots that you have to make at these World Championships. We were trying to speculate. It, it, it seems that he's this Finnish team more aggressive than we've uh, seen them in the past. Uh, I, I compare it, if you compare the men's play with the women's play, there is no comparison. The women play it wide open, they won't draw very much, they seem to want to hit everything. 
Uh, this is a different Finnish men's team. The, the thing that uh, we noticed and I talked about is that in the Canadian game, he tried right from the very beginning to, to generate some points. He didn't utilize the free guard zone area as well as he should have, Vic. He, he tried it with the freeze, uh, tap back freeze situation, and really tough to play against teams like Wayne Madaw in that area. You have to, the only way you'll beat them, you saw uh, a good, an excellent game uh, last night with Scotland and, and, and uh, Canada. Uh, and uh, both teams trying desperately to use the front to generate some offense. Final stone, and now it's Jos Mellingen and you trying to hold it up. And it'll crash in front, and so that draw by Finland. Half open, sitting back button will stand as a steal of one. Marku, Yusi Pavelnemi, and Finland have the early lead in this tiebreak. Finland with a steal of one in the first. Norway controls the hammer as we begin play here in the second of this tiebreaker at the Ford Worlds. The winner goes on to play Canada. First rock was a little long for Finland, and here's the nice come around for Norway on their first lead stone of the end. And Finland trying to now get into a position either right in front of it or just behind it. Look at that nice curl. We're going to see some good come arounds, I think, this game. We well, can certainly take my comments from reading the ice segment, my closing comments, and just disregard them completely because they're obviously we're going to have lots of rocks in play. It uh, wasn't the trend of either one of these teams uh, throughout the round robin, but that's, uh, that's a whole new conversation. So a long, long guard, and as uh, you heard Linda explain, the following shots, some good come arounds. Okay. That was a big miss by Thomas. I, I think he underthrew it too, Linda. I mean, I think he, uh, he, he didn't have a lot of weight. And... and we were chatting about it. If you were going to play the quiet weight to try and hold the shooter and get your second point, you had to broom yourself for it. Otherwise, you just play the pick and, and take your one and move on. Hockey. Back over speed. Back over speed. Tommy Hattie will sit right there. Boy, I thought it might just finish a little morning in the inside flop. Yeah, it seems to be that the left hand side of the sheet coming into center has more curl than the other. Now that may change as Ray has told us it does often change during a game. Bare løser litt på den. Du blir liggende her selv. 15. Ok? Here's a look at uh, Thomas and his broom. As we've told you, if you've been watching, they have modified their broom so that when they sweep, the part that goes up under the arm is a little more comfortable with that extension. Yep. 27 year old yep. Norwegian second. Yep. Yep. Thomas Jew. Yep. 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 So we need to play again. Ah. Oh, for sure. And he'll drive it by. <clears throat> Hit and roll. Tommy Hattie in his second appearance at a World oh, Championships. Yep. I think one of the things that impresses me, considering the hey. lack, lack of hey. experience hey. of this team, is also the variety of weights we're seeing, the variety of types of shots we're seeing in this game in particular. Maybe not as many during round robin play, but they do have and do understand the use of all those weights. And that's something that, uh, with that little experience uh, and the lack of competitive opportunities in Europe is remarkable, really. 
Yeah, if you uh, saw some of the conditions they play under Linda, they're just horrendous. I know. Uh, I mean, I, I held clinics uh, all through Norway and Sweden for years, and and it was fine to teach a clinic because you don't need the, you know, the uh, you're, t you're teaching the basic mechanics. But we were teaching, the, and I, I said on many occasions, is this where you play, and yeah. this is where we play, and this is the kind of ice we play on. And it was really hard to believe. So they, some of the conditions they play under are really horrendous. So they do remarkably well considering that. You're absolutely right. The jam will leave that finished stone a little more exposed. That one didn't finish very well either, did it? That stone no, at the end. <laughs> I thought you maybe got confused because this is Finland here. You've already said today for us to ignore you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was, uh, just yep. ignore what I, <laughs> I said. Say today. Okay, I, <laughs> so I, I picked up on that. I think, I think what I'll do is uh, slide down and have a Tim Hortons donut or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you around the ninth <laughs> end. Vile Makala, as we play here in the second. <laughs> Pretty nice shot. Double is there. You gotta be careful though. Nine. All right, we're looking at how much they could see of that front stone. They can't see it all, has to curl by the guard. Jew is on the left, Hoss Mellingen on the right, and they'll crash in front. It seems to me, though, in those kind of shots, they're under-throwing them. Uh, I don't okay. think that's the kind of weight that he's he's brushing them or booming them for. Linda. They're certainly getting a lot of movement. He hit that guard very solidly. wasn't even close to getting by. So, yeah. Very nice position for that rock. They're always going to look at playing their own now. So hell, this is for two one. Wanna go hack for it? For now, this is for shot now, Gida. Huh? Hackford. Uh. Norway in some trouble here as they play their final third stone. Up, 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 up. Trying to angle this one back. Up. That's right. Now, yep. this is the spot where they're yep. playing that tap weight. They have yep. to make sure they Jim find the spot for the broom. Jim whoa, 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 whoa. Very Angle, nice. catch it. What a pretty shot by Torger Nergard. Okay. To lie two. 
vai mitä? The guard that was placed out front protected the red stones, but it did leave this opening. You weren't going to get another chance at this if you didn't make it this time, probably. So nice shot. It's been a couple of nice shots. Raise a little earlier. Roll. Just checking the angle. Can't talk very well this morning, so I'll uh, try and draw straight lines. <laughs> <laughs> and anything that I have to say to you, Victor, I'll write up here on the screen. <laughs> Second time as a skip and making some very good shots at that skip position. Got it. Oh, and he just drove it by the corner. Mark, who UC Pebble Niemi. Marco wasn't far off of making that double, so Norway has to be careful. He saw that his numbers were tied for third amongst the skips, and look at the players he's got just ahead of him. Wayne Madaws, the top skip, 84%. Former world champion, of course, at the second position. David Smith, 80%. And Peter Lindholm, last year's world champion, is tied with him. So Thomas Ulsrud's up there with the big company. Oh, this is an opportunity wasted if they can't drag it there. As Nergaard out to join Jew and Hosmelingen, and they're going to leave it short. He's actually underthrown everything, Linda. Um, he just hasn't got a feel, and, and, and draw weight is a feeling, and he, he thinks he's coming out faster or harder than he is, and his last shot in the last end, the, the tap back for two, he underthrew that badly. Mistä se jakemerkki oli silloin? Oliko se pienempi kuin toi vai? Vai oliko se isompi vai? Vai tommonen? Well, the last end he was looking at one and he couldn't get out to hit. He drew in and ended up scoring that point. So what he wants to do this time is put a rock right there like that. Niin joo, mutta siis tarkoitin reuna suuntaan. All right, Ray. It's a good circle. Take it off. <laughs> Miss that look. I'm having a tough time <laughs> talking <laughs> today. <laughs> so every time you draw a perfect circle, we will try to remember <laughs> no, to say nice circle. Final stone for Finland here in the second. And Marku Yusi Pavlniemi. Hey. Trying to draw the four no, foot. No, no. Would he like to glue it to the corner here, or does he want to actually take it behind it? There's not much to work with, but... The corner's great if you can get it by and... Oh, the little rub no. left it. They never laid a brush on it. It was perfect. It was perfect. Little rub straightens it out. It was absolutely perfect. It was going to make my telestrating look so good. <laughs> well, that's a shame because it, it doesn't curl a lot in this spot, but you know that all finishes are slow, and you have to anticipate that last little bit of curl. <laughs> absolutely perfect. 
you, you know what the brush is concerned with. They knew the weight and they didn't want to hit it and bounce into the open. <laughs> so it was a tough decision, but they had to get it by. <sighs> Because even if he hit it, it wasn't going to move it very much. Under the weight was so close, it was just perfect. And two of those seven wins in tiebreakers, Norway has gone on to win the final. In 1979, it was Christian Sorum, and then in 1984, Eigel ah. Ramsfeld. Oh, oh, oh! In oh. fact, oh, look! No under throwing that time. No missed opportunity. That's why he's smiling. Norway's Thomas Holsrud picks up two here in the second to take the lead and hand the hammer to Finland. Well, we uh, saw the telestration, and it was as if uh, Marku saw it too. Well, he absolutely lays this perfectly, and, and uh, you can see in a moment they'll let up on the brushing. It's, you know, they're judging the weight, and the line's being judged from this end, and right here it starts to move, and they just stay off it, and rubs the front one and sits beside it. Otherwise, it's going to be glued on the face and shot rock. It bounced out into the open after the rub. Norway makes the quiet tap for two, and so it's 2-1 Norway. Finland with the hammer as we begin play here in the, the third. And as we've seen before with Finland, now that they have the hammer back, they are trying to generate offense, but they tried to do it in the rings on their first one, that first Norwegian stone into the house, as you see it there. Finland tried the freeze, didn't quite get it in position, and Norway oh, picked it out. and. Now that front rock, but it's at the point where the front rock, even though it's in front of the rings, can be removed if Norway wants to. Well, Thomas is, uh, with this call, is going to stay on the offense. Norwegian second, Thomas Jew. This team, almost every player throws that, what I call a, sort of a double handle, cocking it one way, cocking it a little more, and then bringing it back. And you do have to be careful you don't put those outside with the extra movement of the hand. Plan B, tick the one over. Back eight foot weight to hit the red one, tap the red one back into the rings. At the same time, open up the uh, shot on the forefoot. It's a good call. It's an excellent call because one of the other things that we hey. see so much nowadays is the moving around of stones rather than early on playing the big weight. These are the setup shots. Trying to maneuver them in Thanks. position and get at the yeah, shot stone, but still leave your rocks in play. Look at this. Tommy Hattie. Terrific <laughs> shot. Right down on top. Ooh, wow. That is a great shot. A nice call. Good call. <clears throat> that changes his end around a wee bit. Oh, you're shopping. Bit the plus. Go on, let us really get it. What are you going to shop? I got a shop. So you bit the plus side. He's going to try and roll behind the corner. He has to be careful not to, to, to jam it. The, the double, double the other way is there, but if he makes that double, then a double is set up for Norway, so... 
you play this quietly. Try and get the roll behind the uh, corner guard. Better get hockey. Yup. Hockey. Yup. Hey. Hockey. Yup. Hey. Hey, 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 lovely shots. This is amazing, really. They, as I said, using every type of weight, the freezes and then the gentle taps, the maneuvering of stones. Tommy's nice little flip there with hack weight. You can't see. Hit and roll. Torger and Thomas Dew oh, yeah. had flipped around a little bit at second and third, but uh, Torger earned his berth at 30 through a couple of big shooting percentages, a 90 right before he played Canada, and then another good game against Canada. So he's stayed at that third position since then. They've completed now the first round after suspension yesterday. It continues to be Fred Couples at minus three. Phil Mickelson is on course and he's at one under par and the all the leaders will tee off within the next <coughs> half hour. Hockey. And you'll see live coverage later today on TSN second round of the Masters at 355 Eastern 1255 five to one Pacific. Vile Makala. Jump! Jump! Come on! Face! Jump! 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 Face! Bob. Go out there with the water! That's shot! Double now! Well, you can see that Finland's doing a good job here. He really has. Thomas Olsrud thinking about this. The one rock is hidden. The other Finnish stone is in front of the Norwegian rock. And although the Norway stone is sitting shot rock, it's easily accessible with a tap. It looks to me like uh, Marku has gone to school on some of uh, Wayne's style of game. and. Other than the fact he doesn't utilize the free guard zone early, I mean, he's certainly been maneuvering the rocks around very well. Trying to just catch the corner of the one that's hidden. That, uh, that did a job. That was a nice shot. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of that rock available, and it had to curl a little bit by the guard even to catch as much as it did. It's been a well executed game so far, Linda. It's early, but there's been a lot of fine shots. Raises, rolls. Ville Makala. Finland with the hammer and trailing 2 1 here in the third. Yeah, they wanted to get them separated, the doubles down there. Made a pretty big move halfway down. Well, 
There's several options with this. They're talking about playing it maybe from the outside to make the double, but if you do that, there's not as many options as coming into the pocket. And you do have to be careful, Linda, with this situation. This, this rock here, you know, this can go here. It doesn't come back in this area here. And you're not going to save the shooter if you tried to come into the pack in between the two stones. Granted, you might miss hit, but you also have more chances of moving things around, maybe getting a sitting in front of the other or rolling behind the guard. So you have to make sure this one's absolutely perfect to get rid of everything. Skip Stones, Norway's oh. Thomas Holzrud. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that kick. Whoa. And he'll just get on, one, and on. now those stones will be split. I don't understand what happened there. He had to hit it uh, more on the outside to, to play it that way to get rid of the other one. The shot rock here. It's going to go in here, obviously. Talked about maybe pushing that back. He could also go over into this area here. Too far to play a split on that front one? Well, you could play a split. The, the problem would be if you didn't get the back one covered and your rocks weren't second shot, then uh, Nori could just hit and sit too, and you might never generate those points. Yup! Bison! Yup! Go up! He's certainly playing the tougher of the two come yep. arounds. Go I think he's playing a raise. It's even curling too much. Mm -hmm. Now they're going for the yep. option yep. Split yep. because it curled so much. Oh, and they did get it there, so. First, third, and fourth shots belong to. They're having a look at how much of the back one they can see. A split actually rolled far enough to cover a bit of it. Oh, he has to be very careful here because uh, there isn't a lot, as I said, of room to get by that front one. And this is the spot that really goes. Well, you can see what's been generated if he hits and rolls out, of course. There's three now possible for Finland. But if he hits the six, He'll take the end away from him. He could have a shot at a double across the rings, I guess, is what he said. He must have said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Final stone for Norway. Johan Hosmelingen is on the left. And look at Thomas Jew. Struggling to get it by that stone, top 12, and they won't. I still think he's under throwing everything. That is the spot that curls. And now is it a hit for four? Ei tätä neuima. Sano Thomas. Annakin sen itten nousi. Normaalilla. Look at these two. Jew is in the foreground. Host Melligan is in the background. They just couldn't drag it by that biter top 12. They expend a lot of energy. There's actually maybe a little bit too much movement because they move their legs and arms so much and that really wears them out. 
Well, the split really put the pressure on and worked out well for him. Normally, I tell you. Normally, me. It's going to be a comeback for Norway if this shot is made. Four possible on this nose hit. And sit right there, count them up. They'll look at the outside biter. And it's four for Finland here in the third. That's a big miss for Norway and Thomas Olsrud. It opens the door and Finland breaks it open here in the third. The men's semifinal of these Ford World Championships, Canada, Wayne Madaw will play the winner of this tiebreaker. You'll see it tonight at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 7.30 Pacific here on TSN. Well, it was winner in and the loser out in the ninth and final women's draw yesterday. Canada and Kathy Borst against Germany and Andrea Schopp. It couldn't have been more dramatic. You're tied 5-5. Last stone, the hammer stone belonging to Borst, needing to hit and stick for the win. And Kate Horn, Brenda Bomer, Heather Godverson, and Kathy Borst celebrate their win. And so they are in to the semifinals. And they will go against the two-time world champion, Sweden's Elizabeth Gustafsson. And you'll, we'll have that for you Saturday night at 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. The women's semi on Saturday. But who will Canada and Wayne Madaw play? Well, right now, Finland up 5-2 after they break it open with four in the third against Norway. Well, the split, uh, when he split the stone on, uh, when, what uh, he played, and it really uh, looks hey, great hey. now. You know, he was obviously hey, playing all the way, the split to cover the back one when he split them. And uh, Oh, you think so? It wasn't straight back raise. You think it was the split he was well, playing? No, it looked to me like he, that's what he was playing. I mean... If you're going to just lie two off of it, aren't you just going to play a draw? I, I think so. So he was playing the spit all the way, it looks like to me. And now, if uh, Thomas hits and sticks, uh, he holds that uh, yeah. he holds that end to one unless he makes, unless uh, uh, Marco can play the across the ring double, maybe. That's a very low Ooh. number for the Norwegian se second, Thomas I think I've ever seen a number that low. No, I mean, not, that's not Yeah, I understand don't. what you're saying. Yeah. Well, Thomas threw up the corn, long corner guard. It curled a little too far, a little further or closer to the boards than they wanted it. Uh, but they're in a position now. He tried to freeze there. Pick up a deuce. Hey, hey. Yanta, Yanta. Jump! There is a double possible. Oh, not quite. I'll tell you that, Tommy. Hattie at uh, second, and then uh, Vila, they're, uh, they're playing really well. The whole team right down the, mm -hmm. the lineup in Finland is. Well, as Ray pointed out, they, they played well against Canada this. Well, they did. They, they just uh, didn't utilize the free guards on area enough, but uh, I talked to Wayne about that after the game, too. He said, you know, they, they played pretty well. They just. Uh... And Scott Bailey, the Canadian lead, said the same thing. He turned around and. Expect to see yep. a corner and see them yeah. trying to freeze yeah. to the in the house. Is this the same kind of thing here where Norway should maybe be putting up some corner and ignoring the stone? Pass. Well, they, they did throw a corner up Vic, uh, earlier. That was. Uh, their first call, I just curled uh, so close to the boards. No, they, they, this is not bad now. They got 
A shot in behind the corner. They yep. can freeze one on here. They can get a jam. They only need a deuce. Here's the finished third, Villa Makala. Baba! Baba! Wow. Just not enough. Just not quite. But still, what a very nice shot to get the roll. Grouping the stones, which is so important. Norway won't have a chance to spread them out too much after this. It's tough at third when you know your second struggling. Torger is playing quite well, but uh, it's a little tougher with those numbers that we saw for his second. Very nice shot. Got them spread out. Nice touch to get the just a corner with that quiet weight. Very, very important that uh, Finland stay here, not hit and roll out. Otherwise, uh, Thomas can go up and go around the corner and get it to the top 12 foot and have two buried. Jump. Got to stay here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Jump. Hey, 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 hey. And it will hang on the back 12, Villamakala. The NBA on TSN tonight, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific, the Heat and the Raptors. The NBA on TSN. Now what's going to do, huh? Roll roll out. 15. Victor will be there. 15. You could come down again and sit on top of this. You could also go around that corner guard out there. The accuracy required with this kind of weight when the stone is so close to the back rings makes it very tough. Good job with these hits, though. Yeah. It's a good shot. I think I might have really pushed, pushed it there and gone around the corner myself. But. Get a roll out. At this stage, you've got your two points, Linda, so just exchange some stones. Dramatic turnaround for this finished skip. As Linda says, just recently moving up to the skip position a year ago in Bern, he was. One hey. and eight. Hey, 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 get it And this year finished the round robin at five and four. Uh oh. Uh oh. And there it goes. Weight on those shots surprises me. I mean, you've got to control it. He calls it normal weight, but there's no control on a stone like that. And no little bit more. I got that. This is a good, remember there's a rock at the back of the 12 foot now, if you get the rock in here, right in this area here, behind this guard, you'll be lying, this is the guard here, you'll have one, and then there's another one back there, you'll be lying two, and they'll both be covered. That really was, uh, as you said, Vic, one of the first mistakes, maybe from Marcou, a little bit too much weight, perhaps. When you saw the numbers, you saw that Thomas has made Several mistakes. Remember last end, he had a good chance to prevent the four, but here's a chance to get the two back. And it's not just two points, it's momentum as well. Getting back some of the momentum lost when you gave up that big score. Make a good shot here, then you can score three. Get them right back in too. And you know, you can look at the way these, this front end, uh, Thomas Jew and Hus Bellingen. They need a little bit of a confidence boost too. Terribly disappointed with that last end. Wait was excellent. It just took, obviously had too much ice. It just, or it didn't break like he expected. 
Hold on, but it's just that. Huh? Wait, was perfect. It was. Kato, tää tulla tosi pääsin selkeästi tilaa, mutta tää muuta tää tää vaan suhteellisen reippaan tosta noin ehkä niin puolikas ja reilu, mutta tää kato tää. Mä katon minkä verran siinä tilaa. Kyllä se näyttää siltä, että voitais tulla näin päin, mutta... Siinä olisi tilaa kumminkin päin nyt, että tota... Pitäisikö se ottaa toi toinen... Just take this stone here, this one right here, and move it right to this position here, behind this corner guard. And boy, what is it? The situation. And now they have a chance for the double. Like this here, and make the double. They could also roll over a little bit if they. That's right. If it happened to curl a bit too much. Marku still uh, talking to the front end about it. Once he's ready, here he goes. Hey. Hey. Final stone for Finland. He's Norway played. has no, the no. hammer. Yeah, he's played the big weight for the double. Angle it, catch it. Final. Now Final. get it out as well. Final. One more turn, Final. one more turn, and it's gone. Marku, you see Pavelniemi. Played the double the whole way with that peel takeout weight. And the extra weight means the stone that you're jamming is spinning, and as Vic said, the turn took it out. One mistake on the ice. A little bit too much ice, perhaps, and there went the two or even three for Norway. Yeah, with a good shot, you may get three. That's you, you played to get the three. That's why you went there. Otherwise, you could have gone to the other side, Linda. The throw through by Norway, Thomas Hulsrud. And the team from Oslo will control the hammer. Finland continues to lead 5-2. Well, then you go from a possible three to uh, to a blank end and a great double by Finland. Played it all the way through the big weight, as you mentioned, to get the spin and the action on the stone, and there it goes. It's the tie-breaking game in men's play of these World Curling Championships. First stone. Nice position for Finland to the top of the forefoot. The corner guard goes up for Norway in a good position. Now this is where you're trying to come to the face of your stone, so this one's a little bit too heavy. And this is live now, the second lead stone for Norway and Johan Postmellingen. Normally. Canada watching this, you have to also be thinking that uh, this is quite a performance, especially by Finland. They're putting all kinds of pressure on Norway now. Mark you with a, a couple of save shots early, that very nice shot in the first end where they stole a point. But then he's also come back with the big double, the big weight shot. Tommy uh, Hattie has made everything, absolutely everything. If you're Finland, you're actually getting too many stones in the rings. You might to get some of those out of there. Hit this one and kill the back one on the way by if you can. 
the one word we do know in Finnish is? Normally. Normal takeout weight. Yeah, that's, that's what you want to do. Also, no aquavit. That's another, don't <laughs> that's go there. Another that's story. another story. Sommerfart! <laughs> Very different approaches to the game. They, the Norwegians very vocal back and forth, up and down the sheet. You hear very little from the Finns. They seem to go about their job very efficiently. Very nice shot. After a few struggles in the first end, Thomas Stu with the freeze. Nice one. There it is. Now that's tough to get out. You can try and nose it and sit in front of it and then make it so that it's difficult for that finish stone to be removed. Ville Makala. Hey, hey. Pianta, pianta. Hey. Pianta, pianta. Yup. Like that. Wow. Perfect. There's a little separation, but the act is interesting how the action of those stones just leaves it almost frozen to the face. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You gotta do something with it, otherwise you'll never score two. Because all you can see is the F O R. No D. Having a look at who is second shot, I believe. Looks like Finland sitting one two. But see how tarvi osu kive. Mitä? But see how tarvi osu kive. Se suoja jos se on väärässä paikassa se on vähän huono. They set up set up nicely for Norway. So he's going to have to do some rearranging because uh, a nose hit on that yellow stone Normally. by Norway would, I think, get rid of both the red stones. So Finland's going to try and hit it first and yeah. get a different angle off it. Stay, 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 stay. He must have been inside. Well, jammed onto it. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that the angle would be to move that other red rock a little further. Next nola. We're back on. Now put that number four to the left. What for now to the open? Eller ska vi heller gå den? Löst lite på det. Gör det snabbare. Käppen på äggen då. 
Jag har käppe på egen och så lite lite sån. Nu var rolig då. Bara bakanfart. Så rolig? Ja. Eller hack då. Hack Max. Det går väl när det går rätt. With the only uh, with this the only game in the arena. Hackfart. Unlike on a five game draw. Everyone here in the arena is right into this game too. They can hear it up and fortunately for many of those people who don't speak Finnish or Norwegian, you can't understand it, but you're right in the game. Back uh, eight foot weight just to rearrange the stone, try and push the red one out into the open, hit this one on the nose a little bit. It's gonna curl. Whoa! 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 Ah, moves it around. So Wayne Mada waits. Let's see who will play. Mark who? Yusuf Pavlenyemi or Norway and Thomas Olsru? And we'll have it for you tonight at 10:30 p.m. Eastern Time, 7:30 Pacific. The men's semi-final tonight. Niin se pitäisi olla normaali mieluummin. Reippaalla tässä kuitenkin tökkää ton oman pois tuolta ja on ton... Otetaan vaan normaalia viereytys tohon noin. Eiks niin? Eiks tota. Elikkä suora osumakin on ihan ok. Tosta joko viereytys tai tupla. Joo. Normaali. There is a double there. I thought he might uh, take the safer route and just hit and roll in front of it because he certainly doesn't have a bad situation. I'm talking about Finland, of course. Norway's trying to generate that extra point, keeping these rocks yep. in position. Hey. Oh, come on! Come on, Nick! Oh, that just went. Hey, hey, hey! And catches nothing on the way through, but gets that one off the back 12. It, it picks something for sure though. It, it just uh, made a huge move. He's playing the double all the way. It's the one time I think I might have tried just a little bit quieter weight, a little more ice and, and tried to keep the rock in play. You can see the whole, <coughs> the whole stone, the red stone that's in the house, so they could tap it directly and roll behind the red stone. We talked about coming this way, and then as Linda suggests, they're, they're going to come this way now. Tapping that back and trying to sit over in this area here. A safer play looks like a play on your own, but to get them spread out, this is the better way to do it. Thomas Olsrud. Yep. Trailing 5-2 we play here in the fifth. Yep. Yep. Boy, oh boy. Did the brushing straighten it out? Because it looked like it had great line. I'm not sure if it was a little more weight than he said, but uh, the weight looked good to me. I don't know. It's, it's straighter with that turn than we see from the left to right, moving from the outside in. Mark, who's taking his time going down the ice, looking for spots where there may be little bits of debris after his first one caught something. He's taking his time. I know you would have made sure that the path was clean as a front end player. You wouldn't let your skip do it. No, sir. No, sir. 
Ei nythän se on kyllä keskellä kiveä toi merkki, että se pitäisi olla alle puolikas, niin otetaanko me tykkiä ja otetaan merkki siitä kohdalta? Niin, mä oon melkein sitä mieltä. Otetaan vaan oikein merkki, vähän pienempi. Ja tykki. Sure doesn't take much ice. He's coming downtown with this. Hey, yo, hey! Viedä ottaka se oma siihen eteen sitten. Viedä ottaa paino eteen. No. He, he gave it a little flick right at the end. You just see as he released it, and that flicked it outside. Uh, the thought of the last one, I guess, uh, had a bearing on that. We're done, Lila. You watch this. We know he's going to throw the big weight, and just as he drives himself out of there, watch at the very end of this delivery. Just gives it a little. Uh, right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so, I'm so Just flicked it outside, and that made it run a little oh, straighter. Oh, no, no. I, I know. Hit for two. Hit for two. For Norway here in five. A big hit for two. You bet. After, you know, he had a chance last to end to get his two and chose to try and get the three, and I... I would have done exactly the same thing, and then you end up getting whoa, a blank end, whoa. so you're kind of disappointed. Yep. 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 Hard. 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 Look at Hoss Melling, and his head is just buried in the ribs of Jew. And they'll get there too. The hard work pays off for that front end. They'll go to the fifth end break, and Finland with Yusi Pavelniemi. One point up. The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Star Choice, Canada's leader in digital satellite television. And by AT&T Canada. AT&T Canada, it's all within your reach. It's the tie-breaking game in men's play. Finland with a 5-4 lead over Norway as they play their, or take their fifth end break. Finland will have the hammer when we begin things in the sixth. At the recent Nagano Olympics. Three-time world champion, Eigel Ramsfell caps what many believe will it is the end of his career. He's in somewhat semi-retirement now. A brilliant career with a bronze medal. And it's done a lot for the sport of curling in Norway. In Norway, it's had quite a big, uh, what do you say, um, a lot of people just call the curling club and uh, when come out and try it. And uh, big interest. Actually, some uh, young people who make music and sort of like underground music, they want to try out curling, you know? They like the sport. Almost like snowboarding, you know, it's laid back, you can have a smoke in the, in the break, and you can have a beer and have fun, you know, so they like it. Thomas Holzrud comes back after giving up the four and the third, scores two here in five. And finds he's down by one here in this tiebreaker. The winner to go on to play Canada and Wayne Madaw tonight on TSN. In the videotape area, our thanks to Glenn, Peter, Carl for their efforts this week here in Kamloops as we check the numbers after five. Brought to you by Simon Eyes, and here's Linda. Actually, the numbers don't look that high considering we've seen some great shots, but remember there are certain players that are having a few struggles, but Thomas Ulsrud, the Norwegian skip, remember 38% after three ends, he's brought his numbers back up to 50. So those players are coming back a little bit and Mark, who Lucy Pevelniemi in the last end had a raw catch something and that's a bit of a bad break, which would bring his numbers down. But overall, we've seen some very good shots, very interesting strategy. That's well for the second five. Lucas, keep through. Finland has the hammer here in six, and the first stone from Norway in their lead. <laughs> Johan Hosmelingen is out in front. Yup. 
The Finnish lead, Yari Laukonen. Voima. Tehdessä tuo vähintään. Arvi! Jop! Mikä on? Joo, 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 joo. Jop! Vaja teep, teep. Teep. Hyvä, hyvä. Joy Rock and then draw to the open side, away from it. <coughs> A little change in the style. So apparently Mark, who isn't going to take any chances at this stage, he has the hammer, he has a one-point lead. I'll just try and exchange some takeouts here. Twenty-seven-year-old Norwegian second Thomas Jew. Norway with a little roll, but Finland, if they want to try it, could try to roll behind that center line guard and go for their two this end. He's got to do it with two because he's been playing so well. The 26 year old graphic designer, Tommy Hattie. Now they went to roll the other way. Yeah, they, they played for the outside roll all the way. Thomas Jew works for a company called 2000 Centurion. And uh, the company trying to deal with the problems of the computer uh, change with the year 2000, and particularly the uh, Cobalt hey, system, of which some 30% of the world oh. uses that program. And they're trying to figure out what to do oh, when so many oh, zeros oh, pop oh, up oh, in oh, the oh, computers. Oh, oh, come in, come in, come in. Come in. <laughs> The men's semi-final. We know Canada will be there. They've been the best all week. Queen Madon, eight and one. They'll play either Finland or Norway. The winner of this tiebreaker tonight at 10:30 Eastern Time, 7:30 Pacific. Here on TSN. Outside roll all the way again, they were looking for. It's just one of those ends where it's everybody waiting. One team hoping to get a bit of a roll, the other team just wanting to keep that control. Yep. And it is oh. funny, Ray, how many times in yep. the sixth and seventh ends oh. we see oh. critical things oh. happen. I have oh. mentioned over the course of the week that the oh. Canadian yeah. women have had their biggest oh. troubles yeah. in the sixth yeah. and seventh oh. ends. Oh. 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 There's a Come nice roll. Come in. Come in. Come in. Whoa. By the civil engineering student, 23-year-old <laughs> Torgan Ergar. Terrific roll. Vile Makala. Trying to run back Jay. double. And gets it. Could it be better than Lineman? 
Middle of the eight foot with the brush. Just over a little over that a bit. In and out. That's what Linda was talking about earlier. No amount of body English was going to get that to move. No. Makalov currently studying and he's from pre-law school. Nice roll. Away from the guard. This is one of those ends, too, where they have to watch the ice because quite often at this stage there is a slight change, and we saw in the come around attempt that hung out. It isn't curling perhaps as much as it was earlier. So with each of these rocks, the skips will be studying them closely. I think the inside out motion sometimes too will uh, take a little bit of that curl uh, out of the stone as you roll it back on release. It's going to hit this. You could ignore it, Jira. You have a two on one if you're Finland. The Norwegian rock is at the back of the house. He stopped to look at that stone out in front. What was he looking at? I think he was checking for the split, but he could just draw around it. A whole end has been played open with Norway hoping for the roll. And Marku just looking like he wants to take this one through. This is what Linda is talking about right in here. It seems that Marco is just happy to play through and hold the hammer. Lokanen and Hattie. And they'll roll it behind cover. But back 12. That's a nice shot. It is covered, but if uh, Norway can find the way around that center line guard, that will negate the back one. Norway can even try for the steal. Well, he's trying the other way around it. Now, earlier in the game, when we were coming this direction, this spot did not move as much. He didn't like what he saw on the outturn, though, Linda, when they threw that one down there. It just didn't move on him. I, I think maybe the little bit of out uh, or motion with the release uh, causes some of that. Final stone for Norway, oh, Finland with the hammer. What a 
Here it goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. And right down on top. Pretty shot by Thomas Olsrud. Nice situation for Norway. They forced Finland to draw for the single now, so you hold your opposition to one point, which is the ultimate goal. And that was the thing we were talking about with Marku's first decision to play the hit and stay at the back of the house. That was the danger that he would be forced into taking this point. Sitä mä niin kuin mietin, että, no. että nouseeko se tonne. Tietysti se on kyllä ihan, se on noin paljon näkyvissä. Niin. Niin. Jos se on Mitä? kova, niin silloin siinä just se, että ohjaa sitä päin. Että... Niin Full eight. Vai, että nouseeko sit liikaa, jos se on kiljainen. For a single for kiljainen. Finland. Noillakin jäi. In the sixth. Niin niille jäi kaksi kivemittää väliin tuohon suojakiveen. Tää tuli ihan saatanan kaukaa toi. Tuosta suojakivestä. Sama se on. Ei sillä ole väliin määrys vaan. Niin... They're just deciding on the turn, and they are changing to the same turn that Norway played. Yeah. Yep. He's playing down yep. to the back one. Let's Trying base. to play that Let's top base. weight. And right there. And he'll sit for one. Oh, Finland so and fun. Marku Yusi Pavel Niemi. Through six. And six four. Finland over Norway. There hasn't been much spring runoff. The Thompson is below level here in Kamloops and the Ford Worlds on TSN. Fred Couples, he's a very big hockey fan. He got to uh, know Patrick Roy very well in Montreal, of course now follows Colorado. And he is the leader at the Masters Clubhouse Leader. And you'll see second round coverage live from Augusta today at 3.55 p.m. Eastern, that's five to one Pacific time. First stone uh, comes out in front after Finland was forced to take that point. I come around by Norway. And a little bit too deep. But one that, that has to be in front of the T-line is this next come around attempt, and it is even deeper still. So this is live, the second lead stone for Johan Hospellingen, the 26-year-old advertising copywriter for radio and TV. Once again, you want this short, and it's uh, short of the button. It's an excellent shot. Finland forced to take the single the last time on a good freeze by Norway. So now the situation sets up so they can try and get their two points back, tie this game up. I think uh, Marco Yusuf Pavelini played that last end a little bit on the uh, defensive side. He had a couple of very strong chances to, uh, you know, and he was, uh, he was, uh, he kind of switched away from what, what got him where he uh, is. The lead. He had a couple strong chances last end to get his two points back, but uh, played the end wide open, was forced to take the single. Norway's just going to throw draw weight. That last rock for Finland didn't end up in a bad spot because there are stones behind it. It's difficult to move it somewhere. So Norway's going to try and get an angle on it and maybe tap it a little bit. Backhand hack. I am not backhand. Backhand, I am not. 
Aldri. Bakant, bakant gjennom. Bakant gjennom. Kjøl da. Gjennom. Litt ny hør da. Litt ny hør det. Ja. Ja, 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 ja. Taking a bye now to the chip. Not quite. Okay. Vet du, Thomas? Per definisjon våre steiner, Thomas. Hæ? Per definisjon våre steiner, alle fire der. Alle fire bak ti. Or we still show rock? Nyt voi vielä koittaa päättää, että yritetäänkö nollata vai... Vai hyökätä? Tää on ihan hyvä heitto. Tommy Hattie. Kova näkönen! Mikä on? Quite a few of these stones have been that little bit extra weight, and they want to try and sit in front of the four-foot area, angled onto the yellow. And it's just a straight spot when you have the weight. That was another plan B there, just to... Throwing those a little bit too hard, with it being a tiny bit straighter, the rocks are sliding. What should we do? Take all the take for the Nara. For sure, not to it. I'm not doing it on the three. If you want, just be calm. Ten feet. Slow a few meters. Slow a few meters. Thomas Jew, the Norwegian Fire. second here in the seventh. Bakan fire! 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 Bakan Eight rocks delivered, eight rocks in play. And only two in front of the tee line, although most of them have been called into that position. Mark Drew is looking at all the angles. Vähennetäänkö me näitä vähän se? Tää olisi ihan hyvä tää näin. On suunnattu aika pahasti nää. Tai sitten tässä näin. If this is so straight on this side, why not go to the other side, the other turn? If you were doing that and you were Finland, you could really only come to the face of that one. Going behind it, you're just leaving them the chance to follow you down. It'd be a little tougher. Just going to sit down there, I think. Let's go a bit pianempi. Let's go a bit pianempi. Okay. No. I think they might be hitting, actually. We'll see with the weight. I apologize that I'm not sure what they're saying. I will admit it. Just sit on top of it. Back up, Bezov. Back up, Bezov. Hey, 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 hey. He's inside the four this time. But look at the fall back. Just quietly. I, th I think they were playing to tap it, but it's just so straight with that little bit extra weight. Octilia. Hockey boy. Vila Makala. I can't even clear Torge. So turn for Insia. Aye. I can't Out turn draw. For Torger Nergaard. 
Men da nedpå, til, bakhånd blått, bakhånd blått. Aldri, aldri, vær med, vær med, vær med. 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 Very nice, and the flip in behind Eli Tu. They're playing those quiet uh, weight shots very nicely. That, uh, that stayed out for a long time and then made its big move at the, at the end. Yeah, it's Now, if Finland can get to the corner of the Yellowstone at the back of the button, they can really make it difficult for Norway. But you have to throw the perfect weight. Fire up! Mason! Fire up! Come on! This one's getting Mason. to center Fire faster. Up. Yeah, Makalo jumps in Fire now to join Hattie and Loken and. Come on, dude! Come on! Take the right out, Toma! And this one will make it by the center line. Finish stone. A little bit light and probably a tiny bit inside. Yeah. It got to center early. And a good chance for Norway now. You could do that. You can even come short here. You got to do something with that red one, otherwise it can be uh, it can be used, and also you can come off the yellow one, and push it sideways. There's just the difference with that spot. Se luistaa tässä niin hyvin, että se on, jos se on määrin, niin se nousee ja se ei luista enää. Oikos mm. tulee tuo ulkoa tai sitten ei tuu siellä. Vajaksan tai ei saa jäädä, koska siellä on niin. siis kolme jo. Et mieluummin se on sitten hakki, eikö niin? Ja pelataan se vaan. Sehän saa olla kuinka ollut vaan tuohon noin nyt. <laughs> Thanks. Niin? <laughs> Onks näin pieni? Kyllä se melkein on. Kyllä se melkein täytyy olla jo. Hakki tai vähän vaille. Se pitäisi olla hakki tai vähän vaille tuossa noin sisäposkista. Täällä on kolme neljä. Se ei kauheasti nousisi, kun ei noittakaan noussut. Niin, niin. Tota, se pitäisi olla... Missä jos saa kuventa kuin hakki? Niin. He's playing this with some with uh, more weight than I. I might be tempted to play this pretty quietly. Just you know, just back 12 foot weight, just kind of flip off it a little bit. For two reasons. One is you can control the sweeping a bit better, but this edge of the four foot band is the tricky spot. And with weight, unless you're really careful with your release, it doesn't want to curl enough to get to the inside corner. First stone for the finish skip. Here in seven, he leads by two, but in danger of giving up some here. Lokan and Hattie, have they got it by their own? They do, now the flip inside. Very nice. Had to hit it a little bit thicker. Yeah. Had to hit it a bit thicker. You can see this just, it curls big time. They do get it by, as you suggest, Victor, but they have to hit this yellow just a little bit more. They just feather it. They hit a little more, they come over on top of that yellow. Just get it by, and it's still moving. Just feathers that one. So it still allows Norway to come down? Mm hmm Huh? Jeg har slått den alle toeren. Vi må fryse på toeren hans. Vi fryser på ti, da, gutter. Fryser på den røde, som ligger, som du ser, bak garden der. 
doesn't have to hit it much thicker, but just a bit. Were you surprised a little bit, Linda, on the way that, considering the weight, the way that stone uh, moved? Well, I guess he, he might have just gotten it a little bit started. The critical issue is some will curl with that less weight and some will hang, and that's the tough part about being right on the edge of that four-foot spot. Thomas Olsrud, who oh, oh, owns a health products oh. store. Steering, Torgin, oh. steering. Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig. It's not second Three. shot. En mä kyllä poistu ollaan nyt tullis, eiks meil oo kuitenkin parempi toi vai onko? Ää Sinne jo töin! Ää tiiä? Mä oon rillit Third shot. Oi tol mot i kosta vet du. Hä? Sorry, det är junior. Ivri, sinne. Shot rock is the top yellow. Se määris, sielt pitäis nyt tulla periaattees. Se ei saa kuitenkaan ulkoposki osu yhtään, se on saman tien tuol noi. Vaikee tänne on poistol tulla nyt. Number one. Kyllä se pitäis olla maaris, määris. Number two. Jos se panee ton keskustan tukko, niin sit panee etetään. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Eight. Maltillinen kivi. Nine. Tää jos se tulee tästä, niin ne pääsee kuitenkin sen kautta tos noi. Edelleen. Sesame Street really paid off, huh? And that's as far as I can count. Oh, wow. Those riffles for you and a half. Don't say that. <laughs> Easiest way to judge here is, and is a good way to judge is look at the top of the uh, stones, the handles, and you can see the yellow. A little bit more over the forefoot, then the red, so one, two, and then three. But a very, very, very definite call by you, Ray. You didn't waste a much, you just went right in there. I got it. Come on strong in the playoffs. And Ray always does that for us with his telestrator. Boot, boot and everything this morning. He's got to get right on top of it. It's got to break a bit, Linda. A little extra weight, as you mentioned. Just a little bit extra weight. Now, did that yellow stone bounce and bounce up? and become second. Have a look now. No, I don't think so. No, it's a uh, Norway yellow one. Finish stone is two. This is the shot rock right here. Number two here. Only two stones are out of play. I could draw the other way. This way you have to assume that you can get it just uh, to curl in as it's coming to the house and get the inside corner of that red one. And this is... This is, for saying, two. is, a, bet, is a big two. I mean, it gets him ties the game after giving up that four in the, the third. He's come back. Norway, Thomas Ulsrud. But it's where he's going here with the ice, too, that out oh, oh, middle oh, eight, if not a little bit more. Now, on that four foot line. And here it comes. Will it roll in and up? No. I don't think so, and I think it's still one only. Now they'll look. One. 
can see Torgor and Ergard wanting to have a look again just to make sure. It's okay for uh, measures. Yeah. Well, they have requested the measure, which is fair on those stones. <laughs> Certainly the Finns believe it's only one. And we believe it's only one. Or I believe it's only one. I don't think Clark does. I am Tulsa. The one on the T line, I think. He's close. There was a tough place to draw in, as I mentioned. Thomas could have tried the other side chose to stay with that turn after Marcus Rock sat in the front of the forefoot. Red is shot over yellow. Okay. One, and now they'll go to the other one. And yellow is shot over red. So it's one. For Norway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was thinking, you know, <laughs> he was thinking we had a first block. Finland gets the hammer back. <laughs> yeah. Already for you, so yeah. he was measuring one or two for yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they get it right. Well Maria Maida, our associate producer, on the uh, left and on the right. Kerry Bulau, who does all the magic with the information, the numbers, the stats. She makes it come onto the screen and look great. Just like this, our Ford Masters update. See Phil Mickelson's on a run now as he's played nine. Fred Couples starts the day at three under par, and he's through one. And a reminder, you'll see the second round of the Masters from Augusta coming up immediately following our coverage of this tiebreaker from the Ford Worlds in Kamloops. Well, Linda, as you suggested, they really had trouble getting that outturn to come in and, and uh, uh, you, you hesitate to narrow up the ice there anymore. And you felt maybe they could get around with the intern a little easier on that draw. I think the way they throw those outturns a little bit, the Norwegians, that little inside out uh, movement uh, causes them a little bit too. I think if you throw that outturn a little cleaner there, you would get a little bit more movement. Finland leading by one, 6-5 as we play here in the eighth. And the team from the Havinka Curling Club has the hammer. I noticed David Duval on that uh, <laughs> list. Did you notice that, uh, Vic? Mm-hmm. You see in your uh, uh, pool? I think I called him yesterday to win this thing. Before it started, of course. You're hoping. Let's put it that way. Well, he is in my pool. <laughs> well, that was another opportunity for a deuce. Thomas has had a couple and just hasn't been able to take advantage of it. And that can be costly at the end when you tally up those numbers. Especially when you give up the big four-ender and you have to struggle back. Every opportunity you have for the second point, you really need to grab on to. Finland has slipped a lot of stones behind the T-line lately. Not so much in the beginning part of this game, but to the last two or three ends, they've been getting themselves in a little trouble <coughs> with just being a little too strong. Finland with Last Rock, playing here in the eighth end. Tommy will try and tap back shot stone and get a flip in behind, try and angle it out. Yep. 
voima. Avani, Kaisi. And this is a very tough spot. This one again caught that curl early. Well, great brushing though by Laukinen and Makala. And it actually over curls. Weight was perfect, just uh, too much curl. Sleepers couldn't yep. hold the line, so now Norway has that advantage back. With their stone still being shot rock. The intern come around. Oh, nice clean well, release. Well, oh. Held back. Held back. For Torger Nurgard. There's a little bit of a pocket to freeze into. That's the spot you wanted. Shot Rock belongs to Norway. Got a chance to get this to the top of the button. Good line last time, but just uh, too much weight. Finland, yeah. Finland, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Littron, yeah, Littron. Mulan. Plus knock, plus knock. Top of the foot up. Top of the foot up. Wow. Mulan, yeah, Gutter. Yeah. Aldre. Stop it for T. Stop it for T. Aldre. Aldre. Yeah, me. Plukir, plukir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop it. Post Mellingen and Jew. What? Actually changed turn, you know that? And it is uh, third shot. Not sure if it ran over a bit of frost. We talked about uh, the uncertainty with the frost today, wondering if it would come in with the building being a little cooler, but it might have hit a little flatter spot or a bit of frost. Well, my opening statement about uh, not seeing a lot of rocks in play in this particular game uh, certainly stands true here. <laughs> if, every end we had, had almost every, every rock. Drives himself down, doesn't he? D down, drives that chest and shoulders so low when he comes out of the hack and almost unnaturally low. Vila Makala. Hey, Mukana Lopuasti. Top Napier, you watch this seat. Akila had a level. Pretty big swing now. Right here, he drives the slide, like, really takes a lot of. See how his. Drops down right inside there. There's a lot of pressure on the knee and the leg, and and to control your body. Often when you see that that uh, first contact to the ice surface, you can lose control. He throws it, you know, pretty well from that situation, but he certainly drives himself down low quickly. Thomas Ulster has that little bit higher delivery. In most cases, the wrist stays a little higher. You have better control of the turn. First skip stone from. Norway. Yeah. And right down on top to lie to. That just didn't break for him. Yeah. 
se ei vaan osu ulkoposkeen toisaalta. I really think he has to hit that right on the nose. Sitting in with last rock here, he's got to hit this right on the nose. Aika huonosti hän se on nostanut, mutta tai mä sitten onko nämä heitot ollut vähän epämääräisiä, että jos hän oikein kiinni siitä. Minkäs verran pitää osua, että sen saa tuon huonommaksi, että jos se jää ulkoposkeen, niin... A little help from, I'm assuming, Dad. Luisto on ilmeisen hyvä vain. Tuntuu menevää kohtaamista. Visto! Ei! Vajaa! No sit viedään, jos on vajaa! Jos on varmasti vajaa! Jop! Mikä on voima? Seis! Jos on tee! Jop! First for the finish kit. Täällä ei ole tain nyt! Definitely a spot on the ice. That one ran over it as well. It caught a big spin and slowed it down just before the hog line. Yeah, I, I'm surprised at the call, though, Linda. I, I would have. Uh, I know you're not. You're going to spill the back red one, but I would have had a tendency to hit that right on the nose. Try to spill the yellow one across the face of the other yellow one. I definitely would have been playing something of Orton. more weight than that. Yeah, for sure. Now you're really in trouble. Is he coming deep with this or going to leave it as a guard, high guard here? I think he's guarding Vic. Hold it He could come right into the face of the Shaw Rock too, but... Hold it Hold it Hold it Hold it it's a hard, and they just don't want it to open. Excellent shot. Mikä verran tää näkyy? Puolelle näkyy puolelle. Mikä se luista tuolla toisen puolen? Se on kyllä... Looking to see how much of this one he can see. Mitäs tässä näkyy? No siitä omasta näkyy kolme neljä senttiä. Kolme senttiä. Joo. Täältä ei pääse ykköstä edes niinku. Mielikin helpompi ottaa tolla pois sitten, mutta sitten sekin on sama kuin antaa yhden. Ei tässä paljon jäänyt muuta kyllä. Keltaslaka ei, ei oikein ratsasteta. Eikö niin? Ha. Niin. It's a mess for Finland. No, olisiko se koukultua tarpeeksi? Ei. Se on helvetin vaikea saada eissä. Niin. Yeah, with his first one, he had to come with with good good solid weight. It was wide open, hit it right on the nose. Would have driven the red, the yellow one back onto the red, and hoping it may have come across the face of the other yellow. But uh, the forefoot would not be closed down to him. I'm not sure there's an easy way into the button. He could try and draw the corner of the forefoot with the outturn to cut them down. Or play the shot that Ray showed us to chip the red over to cut them down. Ray, same kind of shot, but you catch the yellow one, 
It's a double pick almost. Catch the yellow one, thin. Comes across around your red one and catches the yellow one. Do you want, no, no. Do you want the pen? No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I don't think, first of all, you can see the yellow, at least not very much. And it looks to me like it would be extremely difficult to get that out over the top of the other. Red under yellow, you mean, Vic, with pretty good weight? Yeah, you pick the yellow one, yeah. and it catches the back yellow one and leaves the red one sitting there. No, just can't see very much, as Linda says. I think you can only see a quarter of it, which would be a thin hit. Hey! Pientä! Harja, Ville, Ville, Harja. It's the best to do. Give up the yeah. one. Give up one, and a tie game. But as Ray points out, the problem for Finland is they're slipping behind the tee, and Norway is taking advantage. It's all even. From Toronto, will play the winner of this tiebreaker, either Finland or Norway. And then Saturday night, the women's semi-final. Kathy Borst winning that dramatic game with a hit and stick over Germany to qualify. And she'll play Sweden and Elizabeth Gustafsson. Well, I talked about Norway getting some of the momentum back with their two and five. They put up a nice front rock. Now Finland is looking at coming around it and actually that's Tommy's broom that broke. They're trying to sweep it. But here is a nice come around for Norway. And it stays in front of the T line. That's so critical, as we've mentioned. And so this is the second lead stone for Finland, Yari Laukonen. Playing the raise. Pretty good weight, just maybe curled a little bit too much. Slides a little too far. Numbers down for both players as far as their numbers through round robin play in comparison to the game so far. We were talking a little bit about the last end during the break, and, and I really think that uh, uh, the Marku with his first one should have come to you know with pretty solid weight to that to the nose of that stone. He could have got those back two rolling. Now where they would have gone in the angles, we're not sure. But he would have kept that four foot area. He really got himself in trouble there with uh, his choice of a draw. He had to make a very difficult Ooh. shot just to he made give a up good, one. He made a very good Ooh. shot. That's He's so accurate with that Ulan. big weight Ulan. that uh, he could have uh, taken the middle of the stone and really thrown it down on his first one and really got things rolling, redecorated. <laughs> I'm not sure if this caught something. This is the turn that I believe is going to curl a little bit more for them. Hit the front yellow one and roll to the corner, exposing the back one. You now have because you do have a rock in the back of the eight foot uh, that is covered by a, your own stone. So if you can get the op the center open a little bit, you can generate the possibility of scoring a couple points here. This will, not, this will not be a uh, blank end. You saw Thomas Jew, his number 58% through eight. He had been as low as 25% early. Well, that's interesting. And so is this, this AT&T Canada email from Tumblr yes. Ridge, BC. How does a curler Ready, find their weight? Well, Susan, it's, 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 it's the whole game, to be honest with you. And you get the weight from the amount of speed you generate from the hack. And you get that to the case, for example, of the person that doesn't use any swing, they get that from driving away from the hack with the back leg. Uh, it's kind of springing out of the hack, and the person that swings the stone 
will uh, use leg drive as well. There's a no backswing, and they see how they jump and push themselves out. It's that speed and your ability to be able to uh, relate to that speed uh, which uh, gives you the touch, the feel, and, and enables you to throw the, the various weights. The, the person that swings the stone, and we'll see one in a moment, Susan. Here's a tap back. Nice shot. Very right. nice shot. There goes. So a good feel on that shot. He came out with exactly the, the amount of speed required to uh, release it and have enough weight to push it to the back forefoot. You'll see a person that swings the stone uh, often will get the, get the motion and the speed from the hack from the downward pull of the, sw of the stone and then also the body will be put in motion by the driving away from the hack and the two of them together is the speed from the hack that you're always trying to relate to. So you do practice that I and practice the various weights, up. hack weight yeah. being something that if it went down unimpeded would go to the far hack, bumper to the far bumper, etc. You practice those until you get that feel. And Susan, we also want you to know that uh, never on day six can you ask a question that complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to just get by the one yellow and get to the back one, not quite. Where is Tumbler Ridge? It's in the north. We have a curling club in BC in Tumbler Ridge. Through that one, Tolkien. Guard. Torger Nergaard. Finland with the hammer in the 6-6 six, six tie. The winner to play Canada tonight in the men's semi. <laughs> I'm just thinking back to... <laughs> When I opened it comments <laughs> and reading the ice. <laughs> Both these teams would play fairly wide open. <laughs> we have <laughs> we've had more rocks in play in this game than any game we've done this year. <laughs> Torger Nergaard is bringing his numbers up to the level we saw against Canada. Teams get 75 minutes to play the game, and they have gotten it down quite low already. And that camera right by those time clocks. There's, there's a good look at this it picture. From the top. Yep. Villa Makala. Hey, hey! He really drives himself down. Oh, the leg takes it. Bava! Catch the back one. Oh, it opens up that top four and opens up the button area. Mm -hmm. And they have three red in there. That is a concern for Norway, definitely. Mm -hmm. If ever you could get a double to get out that yellow one at the back of the eight foot, Finland could be setting up a big end. This Ford Masters update for you, and you see that Couples has lost a shot as a four way tie at two under. David, where are you? Vai yritetäänkö nyt ratsastaa? Voi sitä nyt yrittää ratsastaa, sit se ainakin aukeaa. No sä vasemmalta sitten. Häh? Toi vasen. Niin tuolta. Älä! Joo, joo. The double raises Älä there. Älä näytä but... niille kuitenkaan. Se on meidän ainoa, jos tää epäonnistuu, mut meillä on pari paikkaa sit, jos se on täällä näin. Silloin se on ykkönen kuitenkin. Ne pystyy kiertämään täältä näin helposti. Tähän näin. Ei oo kauhean paha vaikea tohonkin noin. Oh. This is the call. Get this rock in position and block off the forefoot. Maybe you'll use it. It's a dangerous situation, as Linda just mentioned, that uh, 
There's a number of red rocks building up in the house. There's one at the back, one Norwegian stone at the back of the eight foot, but Dylan with last stone after the steal in eight by Norway. The skip jumping out as they had to brush it to get by that yellow stone and will it stop in time and it will back edge of the four. Unfortunately though Linda's law comes into play here. It is deep and it can be frozen to or can be drawn in front of and it won't be shot rock anymore. Yeah, that rock's got to be uh, top, of, top of the forefoot for sure. Skip's numbers aren't that high, but both of them have had some very tough shots. And the first Whoa. skip stone, Norway's Thomas Holzrud. Oh, 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 oh. Better at that stop in front of Boy, he's picked up his game. Thomas Olsrud. Struggled early, as did the entire team, really, and but there's been a tremendous momentum shift. Well, you, you can see the importance of what Linda was talking about. I mean, you take the redstone and put it uh, in, in the middle of the eight foot in front of the T-line or even bite the top of the four foot, that kind of a, of a escape is not possible any longer. And so it's just, it's just another illustration. Now, in fairness to them, they had to sweep it to get it by. It's almost maybe it would be better if they chipped the front rock. I mean, they made Norway draw there by themselves. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, it would have been better. Slipping behind the T line was disastrous. This stone here that we're talking about here that went, if it, you know, if, you, if you'd gotten it to this area here, this shot obviously would not have been possible. If they swept it hard to get it by this rock. They always would have been better just to have chipped that over there and rolled over here. Yes, uh, Norway could have come in again, but uh, they wouldn't have, been, have something to lie up against. Finland's eaten up a lot of time in the last couple of innings with all these decisions. Well, I think now he has, he has no choice but to freeze on the face of this one now. If he happens to give up one, he'd be one down coming home with the hammer. Or... Yesterday in the uh, Scotland-Canada game, we talked about the situation one up, one down. And, and we saw where uh, Wayne Madaw with the four rock rule worked his magic and scored two. A couple of tough breaks by Scotland. They had a chances to get out and David Smith just missed a double. Mr. Router felt in that game that he would rather be the team one up with with uh, Outlast Rock and but it, you know it, it wasn't I'm not meaning that to, it's just it's interesting the concepts are interesting that's an, always an interesting question Linda to ask the top skip so opinions over the years have changed when we didn't have the four rock rule and with the ice being the ability to be able to throw a big weight it was, the teams wanted to be one up without but before that in my era it was always one down with we wanted to be and so the decision this end if finland can't get this in might be do you want to try something big to take the point or just give them one? Didn't break for him. Shot stone oh, still Norway. Rangard. There's a good look at it. That red rock that is second shot rock just did not break for the finish skip. It did not finish, as we say. <clears throat> Thomas Holzrud. God. 
Stopp på banen, blå linja, gutter. Blå linja. Renhold, Renhold, må køle, må køle. Trenger å køle, og aldri. Wow, aldri. Helt vekk. La han stoppe, wow. La han stoppe, la han stoppe. La han stoppe. Liten split. Nei, det er greit, det. So now, time to line up a lot of angles. Now, time is something that Finland doesn't have a lot of. But they'll try and find a way to get at that button area. And you can see seven minutes. Imagine seven and a half minutes, and that's from the overhead camera. But this this rock right here, I don't know how close it is, Linda. If you, you could have come come off of that one if you had the, the path, not quite that crooked, but but I think that blocks it. It does block it. Kumpi. You can't drive that rock over because you don't want to give up a deuce. Well, that's what I was saying, that if you want to try something big, you want to be trying it with your own stones. Exactly. Otherwise, just giving up one and holding the hammer is not the end of the world. So he's going to uh, try the angle raise, hey, yellow onto hey, yellow. No. This is a tricky one. A dangerous right cross. Yeah. Oof. I don't think I would have been trying that. No, I wouldn't have been trying it either. So he'll give up the steal of one yellow, one for Norway here in nine. The Norwegians will lead it. 7 6. But Marco, you see Pavel Niemi. And Finland will have the hammer coming home. The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Karcher, quality cleaning equipment. By Labatt, good things brewing. And by Simonize Car Care Products. If you care, Simonize it. Norway, the steal of one, has them in front as we go to the 10th. Finland with the hammer. A reminder coming right up following our coverage here in Ford World's second round of the Masters four-way tie for the top at two under last time we checked. Well, Victor, uh, you get a chance to go through this scenario again. One up, one down. Finland one down with the hammer and Norway one up without. We're playing the second stones. Some nice stones by Norway. They brought the first one in, top four foot. And Marku, the Finnish skip, did throw the corner. A nice center guard came back. Now the next stone for Finland was the key. They did not make a little split on the front. They did not get to sit beside the rock and went right through and so Norway got another guard on that nice stone in the forefoot and now you're in a bit of trouble. I'm surprised he's playing this so quietly. And the uh, Finns are in, oh, I don't want to suggest time trouble, but they're time conscious at 4.37 now. 436. Stopped. Thank God, summer They're playing a little bit hurry up, and you always wonder if that affects your. Well, I think uh, it does. I think you're right on. Your throws. Absolutely. And, and they're in the situation where they have to score the two, so their their part of this end can be a lot slower. I mean, because you've got the major decisions to make. Uh, not that the team I wanted up was without decisions. We saw that yesterday when David Smith was trying to protect his single point, but uh, it's. It, these hands, it's tough when you get down to the last few minutes and you have to hurry everything. Oh. And it's been a dramatic change because of, they started the eighth. The Finns had five more minutes on their clock. So that's what they've used up. They've played that much slower the last two ends. Wow. I think it got to go to the... Uh, even the high run back. He's going to try and uh, peel them off now, get the stone off the forefoot. Not a bad call. Tommy Hattie, the finish second. 
He's made some big ones, and uh, if he could make this one, it'd be none bigger. Oh dear. Oh, that's worse. This is sometimes where experience is important with all those angles and runbacks and things. And Finland, although they have been at the World Championships and European Championships, don't have as much experience, perhaps, in these very difficult situations. The only positive for Finland right now is that those are three red rocks out there, and uh, angle raises are a big part of this game now. It's a shot of the 90s, we call it. Torger Nergard, the Norwegian third. No. But it fills the hole, so off of one, off of the other, and they get it there anyway. They got fortunate on that. Well, I don't, but I don't like what happened because now all of a sudden, if he makes this run back again, you got uh, three rocks in front, and you wanted that one by badly. Yep. Vila Makala. Hey, hey, hey. hey. One will spill in, but the Norwegian stone top four is still shot stone. Half open. We'll see if that little red stone on the edge comes into play, though. Came into play yesterday. Earlier in the week, we saw one come into play as well. Oh, oh, get that! But over, hog, but over, but over. A rule is on the table. But over, say up, but over. Man over, den er over, Renhold. Opp til linja, opp til linja. Oh, oh, Renhold, 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 Renhold. They need it to curl a little bit more. Oh, alle hører ja! Gonna play the double on those two. Get them out of there. You might even get the squirt through. You could play the double. Through here, driving that that way, this one that way, and you might even get this. There actually is a hole, so you could yeah. try for the hole, and if you didn't no. get it, you might get the squirt. Find the hole. Oh, no. Oh. Very close. Too bad he didn't tick the other one. He had to tick the high one. Then you would have got the little squirt. Current look at the Masters leaderboard. Brought to you by Ford. Phil Mickelson at <laughs> minus three, tied with Fred Couples. Nicholson is five under on his round. Coming up, immediately following our coverage, second round of the Masters. Mickelson, the left hander. There was a little hole last time. There's no hole this time. But you look at those red stones, as you say, on the angle. <laughs> Well, they come down to an angle raise. Unless they can run it back and get this stone off the top four. It could very well be, Victor. Mark, who has shown us that uh, he can throw the big weight. That will save a bit of time as well as the time clock ticks down. Yup. Yup. Should have plenty of time. Hey. First hey. finish hey. skip stone. Run it back. Oh, oh jammed it. luck. But still, that's a, yeah. a better situation. I know it looks like it's tough break, and it is for Marku, but at least it's off the forefoot. 
And it's also angled better onto the front one. I think if I was uh, Norway, I'd get another rock in the ring someplace. Yes. I don't know where, but anywhere. You could come over here. Into this area. You've got to get another rock in the rings to eliminate this situation. If you play a guard of some nature and you don't make it, then the raise back would be possible for two someplace if you want to try it. I think he's just guarding, though, with that ice. Ooh. Marco will be considering his possibilities with those front rocks, perhaps. There's absolutely no question I'm going to the rings with something here. Absolutely none. No question whatsoever. Crystal clear. Even if it's just a kicker for, on the side that isn't shot rock. For sure that's clear. Tomorrow we go to the mountains. <laughs> Thomas Ulsrud in Norway, the only team to beat Canada in round robin play. And would like another shot at the Canadians, I'm sure. He leads by one. Oh no. He opened it right up. He was calling, Thomas was calling sweep because I think he felt they needed it for line. And they didn't sweep it enough to get it by. Well, there's no worse scenario than that what had just happened. I mean, that was the worst scenario. I mentioned to you, well, we all agreed I would have never been playing there anyway. I would have been playing the outturn draw around. A hit for the two and the little rock on the 12 foot that you talked about. Uh, <laughs> this little rock that Linda talked about, I would never have been playing over here at all. I would have been coming here someplace. It's wide open. How, uh, how much is a curl in here, Linda? It doesn't go crazy anywhere with takeaway, and this is where Marco has to decide how much weight to play. I'm sure that's the discussion at the other end. He's tightening the ice a little bit. He's got to hang around here. Remember, he needs the two. He trails by one. And... One minute remains, and here we go for the win. Hit and stick for two for Finland and a date with Canada in the semi. Not a brush. Now it's Hattie. Laukonen for the win for Finland. There it is. One down, coming home, scores two. Finland and Marku. Jussi Pavoniemi from the Helvinka Curling Club will win the tiebreaker over Norway. And Thomas Ulsrud, the mistake. They opened up the shot stone and the Finns pounce on it. So Finland now has a date with Canada and Wayne Mada. You'll see that men's semifinal tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time here on TSN. Coming up, it's live coverage of the Masters, and then we'll see you tonight at 10.30 Eastern, Finland and Canada.